So a common question I have is, how do I export from QuickBooks Desktop a list of all my open invoices, open bills, open purchase orders, and open sales orders into Excel because maybe I want to clean them up and import them into another brand new QuickBooks file. That's a very common use case for that. But for whatever reason, you may want to get a list of all the detail line item uh, inside of all those open transactions. So the way you do that in QuickBooks is we click on the reports menu, then we click on custom reports, and then on transaction detail. After we do that, let's start with invoices. So we're going to go to dates, click on the drop down menu, and then click on all. Then under filters, we're going to go to transaction type. We're going to click on the drop down and typically we combine invoices and credit memos together. So we're going to go to multiple transaction types and then we'll click on invoice and then credit memo and then we hit OK. And then we hit OK. So those are all my invoices and credit memos with debits and credits. So I only want the detail inside the invoices. I don't want the total amount. So we're going to go back to customize report, click on filters, and then we're going to find detail level. And we're going to select all except summary that avoids the total as a line item. So we're only going to get the detail line items. So we hit OK. And notice um, they're mostly credits. There's a few debits here and there, but they're mostly uh, credits. Anything that would be on the debit side would be uh, something that's negative. So if it's negative, it would show as a debit, and that's that's OK. So we're good to go there. So I want to click on Customize Reports and only show open transactions. So let me go to Filters. Then I'm going to go into Paid Status. And then I'm going to hit Open. And then I'll click OK. And there we go. Now, a couple more things. I want to add some additional columns to this. So I'm going to click on Customize Reports. And I'm going to add Item. I'm also going to add Item Description. And I'm going to add Open Balance. And I'll click OK. OK, good. So I'm also going to get rid of this debit and credit completely. Get rid of balance by collapsing it into itself. Get rid of clear. That's all additional information that I don't need. Because I have description and memo, these two actually happen to be the exact same thing. So we're going to collapse memo. So now we're down to transaction type, date, transaction number, which is the invoice number, customer name, item, description, account, class, split. We don't need split. Get rid of that. And open balance. Now I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to go to customize report and add the amount. So instead of debits and credits, we'll just use amount and then click OK. And then notice that open balance and amount, they look the same. But if I scroll all the way down, they're not because partially paid invoices would show only the portion that's open in the open balance, not under amount. So for example, notice that this one in particular has two different values next to each other. So if I double click on that transaction and hit Control H, notice that there's a payment attached to it. So this is only bringing the unpaid portion of that item, which is proportionally calculated across all the items. The other thing is, by default, QuickBooks puts in parentheses the description of the item next to the item. We don't need that. We need to get rid of that. So we're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and then we're going to click on Reports and Graph, Company Preferences, and then where it says Reports, Show Items By, click on Name Only. So we don't want the description, and hit OK. That will bring the item, uh, the actual clean item list in there. Okay, there we go. So now all we have all of our items in there, the descriptions, the account, the class, the open balance, and this report will contain all my open invoices and credit memos. So I will go and export this into Excel, and I'll be good to go with this one. Now let me mem memorize this one and save it and call it Open Invoices Detail, and then click OK. So that's memorized. So I got that report in my in my reports, memorized reports. There it is, open invoices detail. Now let me do the bills version of this or the accounts payable version of it. So let me go to reports, uh, customize reports, filter, go to transaction type and change that back to multiple transactions, get rid of invoice and credit memo, and then bring in a bill and a bill credit. So I click OK and then OK. So this would be the same exact transaction, but the version of bills. So any open bills and any open uh, open bill credits would show up in here. So let me memorize this one. And I'm going to click on new. And then I'll call it open 
bills detail. There you go. I can export to Excel at that point, or I can go back to memorize reports, and that should be there. So I could I could switch back and forth between my open bills and my open invoices uh, quite easily. Now back into the open bills, there's one thing that I forgot to mention. This was my mistake. Uh, when you do um, the name, we have to bring in go to cust uh, customize report. We also have to bring source name. And what happens is specifically with bills, if the uh, line item is sent to a customer on their name, you're going to see the customer job. You're not going to see the vendor's name. So I need to show source name in order to show the vendor's name. So that's perfect right there. So I can put source name here and then maybe put name towards the end, whatever I want. And I'll memorize this one again. So I'll replace that because I do need the vendor's name, not just the customer's name. So that's a really important piece. I usually forget uh, to do that like I did in this video, but now we added it back in. Perfect. So I can close that. Now let's do open sales orders. So reports, custom reports, transaction detail report, dates. I'm going to put all under filters. I'm going to go to transaction type and I'm here. I'm going to put sales order. Where's my sales order? All the way in the bottom. Then I'm going to go to detail type and choose all except summary. Then I'm going to go to paid status. I'm going to choose open. Now, sales orders are usually not paid. They don't have payments associated with them. But if they're partially uh, open because they haven't been converted to an invoice, that's what open paid status means in the sales order world. And the last thing is posting status. Posting status it needs to be non-posting because sales orders are non-posting. And then I'm going to click OK. So there we go. Then I'm going to go to customize report, add the item, add the item description, add the open balance, and click OK. Then I can collapse uh, memo because I don't need that. I can collapse clear. I can collapse balance, debit, and credit, and do the same thing, customize report, and add amount. That way we can see there's the full amount of the sales order before it was partially received and the partially amount on their open balance. Split, we can also get rid of that. And that will give me a similar report. So I can click on Memorize and call it Open Sales Order Detail. Okay, and then I can export that to Excel. Okay, once I'm done. And then for the purchase order, I just go to Customize Report filters and then I'm going to go into transaction type and all I have to do is change that from sales order to purchase order and that should be good to go there you go purchase order click OK and that would be the purchase order side of this same thing I have to go to customize report and add source name as we did with the bills source name because that would be the vendor's name and the name would be the individual customer being job costed with the item so then at that point, I can memorize that new and I'll call it open purchase order detail. Perfect. And I can export to Excel uh, if I need to do Excel new worksheet. OK, so that's how you export all your open bills, open invoices, open sales orders and open uh, purchase orders. One more thing. If you have other transactions affecting your accounts receivable, that's not an invoice or a credit memo. We want to know. So it's going to be a similar report. We're going to go to reports, custom reports, transaction detail. We're going to click on all. Then we're going to go to filters here. And then we're going to click on account and we're going to click accounts receivable. Okay. Then we're going to go to detail level. Actually, we're going to leave detail level as all, as a matter of fact. Then we're going to go to transaction type. Then we're going to go to manage transaction types and we're going to select everything but an invoice and a credit memo. So we'll pick everything but an invoice or a credit memo. And basically what we want to know is, are there any transactions affecting my accounts receivable at this point that is not an invoice or a credit memo? And click OK. And there's all the payments. So at this point, I would also do open balance. And click OK. And then really what I care about is transactions that have an open balance. So there really isn't. So that's perfect. But what would matter here? So let me show you why this matters. Because if I go into company and create a journal entry, 
and I choose accounts receivable. And let me put here $5,000 and I pick a customer. And let's say we mark that against uh, some sort of income account. So we have a construction income account here somewhere. There it is. And I click save and close. What will happen is that journal entry will show up here and it would have an open balance. And those open balances are important because they were affecting my current accounts receivable. So usually what we want to know is, are there any open transactions with open balances still affecting my accounts receivable? That's not an invoice or a um, invoice or a credit memo. And you also want to know if there are in fact payments that have open balances. So for example, let's say this payment has an open balance because it has partially been applied. So I went ahead and unapplied part of it and then I click on save and close. So we also want to know all the transactions that are partial transactions affecting my accounts receivable. So I would memorize that and call it open AR affecting transactions, not invoice or credit memo. And then click on save and export that to Excel. And then go to customize report filters and do the accounts payable version of this. So that would be accounts payable. And then under multiple transaction types, I'm going to select everything but bills and bill credit. Where's my bill credit? Bill credit and click OK and then OK. And then remember, I have to still do a source name when we're, when we're doing the the bill version or the payable version of this. So I want to go down and see what transactions are affecting my accounts payable. Take a look at that. My item receipt is affecting my accounts payable. So that might be relevant to bring that in because I wasn't on the other report. And also if I open a bill payment and I unapply it, for example, let me put it back at the original dollar amount. I have an unapplied bill payment and click on save and close. I also want the unapplied payment to show up there. So those are my open accounts payable, not having to do with a bill or a bill credit that may also affect my open AP. So I memorized that and I'll call this open AP affecting transactions. I will put not bill and bill credit and then click OK. And then I got my all my reports, open AP, open AR, open bills, open invoices, open purchase orders, and open sales orders. So if you want to import into a brand new QuickBooks, fresh QuickBooks file, those are probably the transactions you need to import and you're going to need a special software to import that I put in the description, a link to the software I use uh, to import the transactions. Anyway, hope you liked the video. I hope it was useful and I'll see you in the next one.